show you a way to really elevate these pork prime ribs, make your guests go crazy. So whether it's a holiday meal or whether it's just a Sunday dinner, really, really simple. Take that pork prime rib steak, pound it out just like I did here. So I'm gonna show you two of my stuffing methods. The first one is our caprese stuffing. Just take a tomato, a piece of mozzarella, another tomato, another piece of mozzarella, and a little bit of basil right on top. And you can see how beautiful that looks. Just imagine what it's gonna taste like. It's really simple. Stuffing pork chops are somewhat difficult. Rolling them is really simple. So I just like to take that, roll that over here, continue to roll, continue to roll. Now I, am, I don't need toothpicks, I don't need anything to hold it together because that's gonna to stay together. I drop that right on my baking dish. And of course, I love taking my garlic parmesan butter. I like dropping some of that right on top and I just see those beautiful herbs that will melt right into that beautiful pork stuffed mozzarella and tomato. <clears throat> now let's move on to something a little bit more fall-y and that's of course our apple stuff. So we've got some apples that we've actually sauteed a little bit, put a little bit of brown sugar in there. And we're going to take them and drop them inside of our pounded pork ribeye steak. It's got a little bit of Gruyere cheese that's going to go right on top of that. Um, and then of course we've got our maple cinnamon brown sugar butter. Now I like to just drop just a dollop inside, but then I'll finish the outside. Again, just like I did with the earlier one, just take that, roll it over, tuck the sides in, continue to roll. And you know what you've got? You've got the most incredible, beautiful stuffed with apple and Gruyere cheese. And again, with that brown sugar, maple, butter on top. These are going to go into your oven at about 375 for about 20 to 25 minutes. You're going to pull them out and you're going to be amazed. More importantly, you're